the Callisto Protocol is an interesting case because it seems to both want to spawn other games that follow in its footsteps, as well as provide a story told in a standalone setting where players learn about origins and expectations to shape the future. While the Callisto Protocol's ending envisions two sequels and a prequel that could significantly expand this new universe, the game also seeks to answer the burning questions it's had from the start, like what's happening on Callisto and what happens on Europa. Understanding the events following Europa is crucial to the plot, but also the story of the founding of Black Iron Prison and the original colony on Callisto. Indeed, it's all tied to the biophage pathogen and how it was discovered early on and later used as a bioweapon to recreate the original, unintended outbreak on Callisto. Even the word biophage describes the virus, as it comes from bio and phage, meaning life and eater respectively, and that's exactly what the in-game pathogen does, highlighted by the types of enemies of the Callisto Protocol. Origin-wise, they stem from an event that happened years before the game's current time, and are connected to alien organisms found on the titular moon the Callisto Protocol Minor Colony, and the origin of the biophage pathogen. The very first outbreak in the game universe occurred when the miners of one of Callisto's colonies found an alien in the oceanic substrate of the moon, and since this life form was killed, the carcass was ridden by larvae carrying the biophage pathogen. Shortly after the creature's appearance, the founders of what eventually became the Black Iron Laboratory arrived on Callisto and built their research facility, attempting to re-engineer the virus and spread it to the populace to see what would happen. This is where the Callisto Protocol Black Iron Prison was eventually built. Since the first outbreak, the subjects have rapidly transformed into mindless creatures, but there was the so-called Subject Zero, who instead retained his humanity while gaining greater strength, resilience and other superhuman abilities. Because Subject Zero eventually died, and because the outbreak proved effective in creating at least one enhanced human, Warden Cole later had the idea to try this experiment at Black's prison, iron to see if an alpha topic would appear. Given the healthy pool of topics at hand, that's what the Callisto Protocol is really about, an experiment with the intention of creating another type of superhuman being capable of taking on the human survivors of the outbreak. In this case, the game's protagonist, Jacob. Therefore, the discovery of the biophage pathogen was a random event that then turned into a series of events leading first to the outbreak on Europa, and then to the outbreak that players can experience in the Black Iron Jail. It's also unlikely to be the end of the biophage virus, as Jacob eventually discovers he's been carrying bioweapons, each containing a single biophage larva, all along. The virus works similarly to True Paramo, which is defined as an evolutionary hotspot, meaning vegetation and fauna can change and adapt rapidly over time compared to other ecosystems. The Callisto Protocol biophage pathogen is a form of accelerated evolution in which the host's body begins to change and transform immediately when contagion occurs. It's interesting because the different types of enemies in the game are so different precisely because of this accelerated evolution process. Overall, even considering the origins of the biophage to be extraterrestrial, the virus is able to instantly adapt to other life forms and the sequels could expand to great effect thank you for watching please like and subscribe and support my channel